This is Manufactured Soul, and I'm here with a video tutorial to show you how to create a custom hireable shadow runner in Shadow Run Returns um, using the Shadow Run Editor. So, this is for your own customizable shadow runs. Um, so, what we're going to do is you're going to first want to construct yourself just a little area, or you know, this could be your scene that you've already constructed. Um, just somewhere to set everything up so when you get to test it it's all gonna work so we've already set that up um, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do um, in this instance is create a contact so go up to your asset library and click on uh, search box and type in player now um, once you type in player you're gonna grab an actor spawner and you're gonna drag it down and drop it on there you're going to then click on that actor spawner that you just dropped and you're going to come over to this properties dialog box um, you're going to want to change a couple things we're going to change the prefab uh, we'll use Jake for this um, contact in this demo we're going to change him from a shadow runner though to a civilian um, and we're going to name him Okay. Um, now, once you've done those couple things, uh, go up to your uh, edit character instance icon. Click on that, and um, you want to adjust his base stats. You can. I'll just quickly make him a human shaman. Um, move him up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna need to choose a picture for Jake. So let's go in here and uh, scroll until we find Jake. There he is. Choose him. So now we've got Jake's picture, um, and this is our basic uh, NPC for Jake. So we're going to go ahead and save his NPC, and now um, once we've done that, we're still highlighted on him. We're going to want to go up to the uh, edit prop interaction icon, click on Jake's, um, and choose him conversation as the interaction type. Um, we're going to leave all this blank for now. Um, you're going to come down into conversation ID and you're going to need to select a conversation that you've made. Now if you make a conversation, you'll see over there at the top left, um, I've already started a Jake conversation and we'll look at that in a minute. Um, but that is the one we're going to want to load. So go up to generic conversations and then you know your conversations pop up there. So check that. Um, you can tell Jake to face you when you talk to him by checking that box. Click OK. Okay, now you've just made Jake into an interactable uh, actor spawner character. Um, now, let's go take a look at this conversation real quick. I'm going to double click that. Um, but if you hadn't made one, you would just click the gear and uh, new conversation. Um, so this is a conversation. You're going to want to name it. Um, and that's the name that we obviously selected there um, on that part. Um, come in type out your text basically you're going to want to select uh, this chain click the plus um, type Jake's first information uh, any GM information you might want in that bar um, and then after that we've got um, our response um, so Jake's going to say sup chum you need something Jake's going to um, then we're going to say to Jake yeah Jake I want to hire a shadow runner um, you can see this A here that's because there's an action tied to that and take a look at that by clicking on conditions and actions um, and under that uh, we're gonna make sure that uh, actions when this link is chosen is selected to open hiring screen and once we do that um, go ahead and finish out whatever other conversation you want click save and then click OK now that's gonna close out um, the dialog part of it and that's going to allow us to talk to Jake um, and have it trigger a hi hiring screen to hire our shadow runner now um, the next thing we're going to want to do is is place out our characters so we're going to place out um, a player spawner and this one and another one right here so I'm gonna rotate that one real quick this is going to be our player spawner and then this one um, is going to be the one that 
Jake hires for us. Um, and we're going to change that PC slot to one. So that would be your number one shadow runner slot. Uh, you can leave all the rest of this blank, um, default settings. So those are your two um, characters. That's going to be us. That's going to be your shadow runner. Now, in order to actually create your shadow runner, we've got to do a little bit of work. Um, what we're going to want to do is go back to the asset library, and you're going to want to type in uh, LVL, and then I usually will start with one, so level one, um, and we're going to make level one. Uh, let's see, we'll make a level one. Mage. Level 1 Human Mage. Okay, so we're going to drop this Level 1 Human Mage up in this area while we're working. And uh, we're going to click on that icon. Now, once we're here, um, you're going to want to uh, go up to your character instance and we're going to do start building our character. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on um, the appearance, you know, and make sure this random eyes uh, function is turned off. Make sure model's not checked. Um, and then you're going to want to choose uh, your new character's picture. Um, so we'll choose this one. And we'll click OK. So um, this is going to be our new um, mage. So uh, what we'll do is we'll call him uh, Takio and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your model and we're gonna since he's an elf um, even though we chose level one human that's just stats for a mage really so we're gonna go to core and we're gonna change him to a uh, elf male okay so those are the appearance settings we need um, now the next thing you want to do is at least modify one stat I found it works best if you do so um, you choose the stat you want to modify him to modify his body up to three uh, then you're gonna want to go to uh, your equipment list now what we're going to want to do is this is the equipment list that uh, this character comes with. It's pretty pretty decent, um, but if you notice, he doesn't have uh, any armor, so he would spawn in his underwear. So we're going to want to add some equipment. So we're going to go to player outfits, and we're going to give him uh, a mage slick. Okay, and then um, we'll also give him a heal pack. Okay, so we're going to want to now click on this save and we're going to want to name our uh, character. So this is his equipment list, so we're going to name it after him. So we're going to name Tequil as our equipment list. Click OK. Now go up to your equipment sheet and look for uh, Tequil or your character's name and make sure it's listed here and then um, go back to statistics and you're going to want to click on um, this save as character sheet option. When you click that you're going to get this error warning, click save, um, you're going to save it as Tequil. Same character name, click OK. You've now saved your character sheet. So we've, res we've saved our um, equipment sheet and we've saved our character sheet. Uh, at this point um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to close character editor and we're going to want to click on our hired um, actor and we're going to delete that actor spawner. So delete it. And then you're going to want to save and you're going to want to shut down the shadow run editor completely. Okay, now we're going to reload the Shadowrun editor, and this helps refresh everything, and it just makes everything work so much more smoothly. So, 
Uh, I'm showing you these reboots at exactly the times you're going to want to do them um, to, to get through this without having any real issues. So we reboot. Um, we're going to scroll out, go back to our area here. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is go back to our asset library and type in player. Now you're going to drag an actor spawner out into your area and you're going to click on it. Um, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to again click on your um, edit character instance. And what we're going to do here is we're going to load up stuff that we just made. So click on your character sheet, type in your character's name, to Keel. Um, go to your equipment list. Um, again, pull up your character's equipment list. Hit the plus button to load it. There's all our equipment that we set up. Um, if your character is going to have some cyberware, now's the time to add that cyberware. Um, we'll give them a data jack just for the heck of it. Um, you're going to want to, at this point, also set any AI settings. Um, we're going to leave, we'll put him on Hunt and Destroy just to adjust some stuff. Uh, we'll make him cautious, though. And then we're going to go back and we're going to name him. And this is our final spot where you get to actually name your character. So we'll name him, and then we're going to put um, a name for the a type of character. We're going to call him an Ar Arcane mage okay and um, we'll call him an arcane cyber mage since he's got the data jack okay so um, once we do that we're gonna wanna click on save as template okay now here you're gonna wanna type in again your character's name so so Keel, our name, and we're going to want to um, make sure that they're set as hireable, and then set our level to whatever level you want. Click override cost if you want to manually insert how much new unit it's going to cost, um, and then another basic tag, um, and on this one we'll just uh, tag him as a mage. And we're going to click OK. Now, that's just saved our template. So what we're going to want to do now is delete that actor spawner and save our scene. And again, we're going to want to go ahead and shut down our Shadowrun editor. And then go ahead and reload our Shadowrun editor. Okay, so we've got Shadowrun Editor reloaded, um, and we're back to our scene where you know how we've got this configured. Now, uh, the last couple of things we got to do: we need to go up to our Edit Scene Properties, and you're going to want to click on the Hiring tab, and you're going to want to make sure your hiring slots are set to one. Um, you can set the level range here. I've got it set to zero to three. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you click on um, hiring roster, edit content pack source, and you got to make sure that your contact content pack source is showing up. Now, ours isn't, and this happens sometimes, um, usually when you're first creating uh, a scene. Um, so you're probably bound to run into it where right now you're not seeing my contact pack source. So, uh, what I usually do when I run into this problem is I go up to my uh, content pack search path and I just verify that that's set up correctly referencing my content pack um, if it's there you can hit cancel if not add it um, also click on content pack dependencies um, click save here and let it check the dependencies um, okay, those are all the basic ones, so click OK. Uh, verify that stuff is all, you know, correct. Um, then usually what I'll do is check it again. Um, 
see if it's popped up. There it is. Tutorial. That's the name of my um, content pack. So click OK. Now if I click View Roster, it's going to show the two characters that I've created. I uh, created one earlier um, before I recorded the video just to do a pre-video test. Um, so that was my older one. This is our new one. Uh, I'm going to click OK and click OK again. And now I'm going to save our scene. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to quit the Shadowrun Editor one final time and reopen the Shadowrun Editor. And for most things, you don't have to close it and open it so much, but I found for, um, for doing this type of work, uh, if you do it, it works great. If you don't, uh, it's, you know, a hit and miss. So we've got our content pack set up. Um, what we're going to do now is test the scene and see if everything goes as planned. So let's go ahead and click on test scene. Um, I'm going to load up a very basic level one shadow runner. Um, we'll make a weapon master. Um, give yourself some new yen and go ahead and start the scene. Now, um, let's see if it loaded or not. It looks like it did. So there's our new scene. We're going to hit continue. All right, so here we are in our scene. Uh, there's Jake. Let's go talk to him. Okay, so there's our GM text. You see Jake smoking a cigarette as you approach. Jake says, sup chum, you need something. We say, yeah, Jake, I want to hire a shadow runner. Okay, so now we're booted into our hiring screen, and here's our two available shadow runners. There's Tequil, who we just created. We're going to choose him. We're going to confirm that. You can see he's costing 900 new yen. We currently have 10,000, so we're good. Uh, we confirm that. And there's our little last part from Jake. Don't get yourself killed, kid. I'll try not to, bub. And so now this is uh, Tequil. And as you can see, Tequil's got my back now, man. We're, we're a team. We're going to be running around and uh, doing a bunch of shadow runs together. Um, so that's the uh, that's the gist of it. That's going to be the uh, end of the tutorial. If you've got any questions, um, you know, feel free to post uh, post them on the YouTube video. Um, I'll be glad to help you if I can. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to make some other videos. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, um, I'd appreciate you leaving um, some feedback. Um, so yeah that's it um, you can also check out my music uh, I make industrial and dubstep type stuff uh, I'm at manufacturedsoul.com www.manufacturedsoul.com uh, so enjoy uh, your shadow runs uh, and I hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching bye